Traditional 4G and 3G networks have antennas that send the radio signal out in all directions. So basically it's a wide beam of uh, a wide signal and whether you've got one device, a hundred devices or a thousand, the signal is always there. If we go forward to fast to 5G, some of the efficiency, or well, a lot of the efficiency and capacity is going to be because of the beam forming abilities of 5G. Now Davide mentioned that and Sammy mentioned that was part of the excitement in his work. This is literally what you might see. So the old 4G antennas send a signal in all directions. The 5G will identify where the devices are and send a small narrow beam to those devices. Now that means you're not sending energy to where you don't need it, it becomes more efficient and you can get that faster connection and greater capacity. We're going to show you that live here in the 5G IC or the 5G lab now on the new high band network. So Jamie, if we move over here, um, now this is where live in the lab we hope works uh, and we think we cross our fingers. So I've got Tia now, I don't know whether you can see the people here, but Tia is one of our young professionals working in Telstra. She's going to be activating 5G on the, this is the antenna we're connected to, I should say. It's up on the, uh, just up on the railing. This is one of the new high band antennas. Now they're very, very small, but they're very advanced antennas because they can do this beam steering. Now, Tia, if you activate a connection, I've got a device here that's a very sensitive RF device. It just detects radio frequency signals. I'm going to see if I can find the beam going to Tia's device. So if I move this, now I don't know whether you can hear that. Jamie, if you come in a bit closer, you might be able to see the device and you can just hear the beeping noise, hopefully. That's the width of the beam going to Tia's device. Now Tia, if you turn that off, we'll see if it stops. So Tia's disconnected her device and the beam has stopped, just like in that photograph before. Now Sammy, you're over there. Have you got a device running? Yeah. So let's see if I can find the beam going to Sammy's device. Right, I just, I think you can hear that. Hopefully that's coming through. Now Sammy's got a device running and Sammy, if you stop your one, it stopped. Okay, so we've only got signal going to the devices when they need to. Like Davide said, that's the advantage of beam forming. Now Tia, I'm gonna give you a challenge. If you can turn yours back on, I'll just see if I, I found it. Now if you walk away, if you unplug the power, and maybe walk to the other side of the room and interfere with where the guys are uh, playing games. Now that, that signal has just stopped, so I'm gonna try and find where Tia's gone and see if there's another beam going to Tia's phone. There we go. I've just found the beam going to Tia's phone or Tia's device. Now I'll move back here to you, and if you just walk back, keep going. Right. I hope you could see that because what that was is Tia was moving from one location to another, and we could hear the beam uh, go past this detector.